there's another almost equal dollar amount that comes from the feds. So the, to run the government of Iowa is actually closer to $15 million. That's all the things that we want. Yeah. Yeah. So um, uh, a couple of updates I'll, I uh, want to talk about. One bill in particular, any educators in the room? Okay, Praxis testing, you guys all had to take that, I bet, in some form. So uh, we heard a lot of noise about, uh, it was pretty unfair, there was a lot of cost was with it, duplication, um, a lot of things that just didn't work well for education. Iowa needs more teachers, so to open that up, uh, a Praxis reform a bill, uh, which I will run probably in the <coughs> near future, and I think the House will see that also, um, but essentially it makes it more flexible, less costly for, for new teachers especially, and it'll be more fair and hopefully get some more teachers brought into Iowa from uh, on the border, border states. So uh, that's something that I'm looking forward to doing as a bill that was uh, discussed. There was a professor here in Warburg, and I cannot remember his name, that wrote me about it um, late last fall, but there's probably, yep, Michael Bechtel, there you go. And uh, <coughs> several uh, other folks wrote me about it. The, the other issue comes with um, the Department of Education. They have, have had their hands on this for quite a while. They came with an amendment that's been accepted from the Senate side. Hopefully that transfers over to the House. Uh, they are reasonable amendments. It, it's actually one amendment with uh, three parts to it, but uh, I think that'll be a, a plus <coughs> for, for Iowa teachers. Um, in terms of you know, how I see this coming uh, legislative session, I'm going to go back, I, I'm kind of recommitting to what I campaigned on a few years ago, is jobs, education, the budget. But I would also add to that that uh, tax reform is still important to us. Uh, welfare reform, as Sandy mentioned, I think that's real important also for us to take a look at. Uh, I remember hearing about that a lot uh, in 2016 when I was campaigning. And in the 90s, uh, Wisconsin did some, some huge uh, welfare reforms and still today they're in place and they were very helpful for, for the folks that were on welfare and, and just a real good uh, legislative uh, process that went on in the 90s for Wisconsin. And it is something that I think I was due for. Uh, in regards to the, the save, um, the House is evidently, you've moved forward on it. The Senate uh, is gonna talk, still talking about some ideas. But that discussion is so big for the Senate, it includes uh, this additional three-eighths that we have people talking about. There's a three-eighths of a penny, if you've heard about I will. Uh, it's, this has been an ongoing discussion in Iowa for I don't know how long now. It won't, in my opinion, that, that won't be an additional three-eighths of a penny. I just don't see us you know, asking people to ring up a three-eighths of a penny. I, I would tend more towards that being another full penny. And that discussion of retaining save and maybe bringing on this three-eighths of a penny or what I believe would be a penny, I think that's very important to also include a discussion about property taxes. So in the big scheme of things, if we're gonna add a tax onto something, if you're gonna go buy you know, something at the grocery store or whatever um, and you're gonna pay an extra penny for it, do you get something back? Is it gonna be a neutral tax? So if you're gonna pay more in some item that you buy, can you get some property tax? Really. That's what I'm looking at. Um, either way, we've still got a lot of things to fund. Uh, I, I would like it to be mer more fair for all of Iowans um, as we pay our taxes. I think that might be one discussion we can have. Uh, and, oh, uh, some legislation from last year. I wanted to bring it up. Are there any law enforcement? Anybody law enforcement? In the room or, or, okay. So uh, there was one bill or part of a bigger bill last year that we did, and this is part of I wouldn't call it neglect, it's just things go on and we don't have enough money to fund all the priorities. But for several years there have been discussions about uh, getting troopers tasers. Uh, of all things, a lot of these tasers had timed out or gone past their useful life. So one of the tools that our, our law enforcement has that's available to them, it's, it's uh, old. Um, it's not that they weren't functioning, but there's some concerns after a period of time uh, where they may not function properly when they need them. So through a bill, we, we were able to fund uh, tasers for troopers. The other part of that is we're still updating uh, communication systems within law enforcement. It's not just law enforcement, though. This is a big, big deal for small communities. 
uh, with their fire departments. Where I work at the Museum of Independence, I have a volunteer. He's also a volunteer firefighter. From his community, he's telling me he can't even communicate through his radios back to the, the fire station, but yet uh, through some weird uh, um, electrical uh, communication, they can communicate to a whole other fire department uh, 10 miles farther from this community. It's just uh, unreal. So there's a, a discussion I want to bring up for rural fire departments. Uh, communications, I think, are important, and that's going to be another uh, discussion on how we can fund that. I, I really didn't have anything else to add to what Sandy brought up. Um, there was one bill, if uh, anyone was paying attention, I'm surprised it didn't attract any more. Uh, it was a bill brought by Senator Zahn, and he was asking for a discussion on a 5% cap for um, education administrators, people in admin, uh, admin. And so there was a lot of controversy within a small group within the Senate, um, it, it didn't attract a lot of attention. I was concerned about it. and So, so you got to imagine a Republican, a Republican brings this bill, and I raise my hand and say, I have a serious concern about this. So Senator Zahn and I talked, and I said, you know, if, if I sign this out of subcommittee, I'm going to have some serious reservation about it advancing out of a committee. So if I vote for it out of subcommittee, there's little chance I could vote it out of committee. I think there'd have to be a lot more um, discussion and amendments and, and such. But um, as it turns out, we did pass it out of subcommittee uh, probably 10 minutes after we had the subcommittee uh, meeting centers on game set and pulled the bill. So there was enough information brought out through subcommittee discussion that um, I think Senator Zahn had made his point with his interest in that. And keep in mind, a lot of subcommittees that form and the discussions we have are just to do that, to have that discussion and say, we take this bill any further. And after hearing uh, some testimony from the Department of Education and several other entities that would have been uh, closer to that, uh, Senator Zahn said I'm pulling the bill. So at least for now, that's that's out of our um, future. That's all I had. I guess if there's questions for Sandy or I, we'll, we'll be here.